artwork in the heart of Paris, on the Champ de Mars, right in front of the Eiffel Tower. Six pairs of hands clasping one another. They're meant to show that together we can get further than we can on our own. Part of society wants to withdraw into itself, but we believe that we need to act together to tackle various challenges. That's the message that we want to send out with this project, the interlocked hands. Values like kindness, mutual aid, unity, and living together. Saip and his team worked feverishly for eight days and nights on the project. It was a race against time to get it ready for the opening. The weather was working against them too. The colours don't stick so well when the grass is wet. And there had been a lot of rain. My idea is to have as little impact on nature as possible. I only use natural materials. Chalk for the white spots, coal for the black ones. And the glue I use is made from milk protein, so only natural products. So my work's not that paradoxical. I aim to touch people's hearts without harming nature. Saïp, whose real name is Guillaume Le Gros, transfers his ideas from small sketches to the huge Champ de Mars. He's helped by his team, three colleagues and a lot of volunteers. Saïp has been spraying his land art in various parts of the world since 2013. Especially in Europe and South America. The environment and transience are his main themes. I wanted to do graffiti, but that didn't make sense, because it's everywhere. It didn't move people the way it used to. I had to find a new way. That was at the time drones arrived in Europe, which gave me a completely new way of looking at the world. Saïp wants to make a statement with this fresco in Paris. Called Beyond Walls, it's a plea to tear down barriers, both real and psychological. And for him, land art is the right tool for the job. People like the idea. From downstairs, I didn't know what it was, but when I walked upstairs, I was like, oh, it's really beautiful. Hopefully, there's, there are people who are, uh, want to build walls that also love art, and you can reach them through beauty. I noticed that there was like a lot of different depth perception with it. Um, like I thought it was interesting that you could do that with spray paint, which I've never seen before. The hands are 25 meters wide and stretch for 600 meters. That's almost twice as long as the Eiffel Tower is high. Saïp also wants to draw attention to the work of SOS Méditerranée, a humanitarian organization that rescues people in distress in the Mediterranean Sea. This artwork Saïp dedicated to us isn't just a handshake showing the solidarity between people, it also symbolizes the gesture of a rescuer who uses it to save the life of a drowning person. For Saïp, Paris is just the start of a major project. In the coming three years, he aims to spray his helping hands in 20 different cities on every continent of the planet. It's part of his plan to create the world's longest human chain, at least metaphorically. It's like in life. Take a step back and you see the real picture. The second thing is that it's really short-lived. It may sound dumb, but I like that. The work evolves. Then in two or three weeks, it's gone. Sayip is a pioneer in his field. But as soon as the Champ de Mars is once again filled with people, the colors will start to fade away. Then fans can only marvel at his artwork in photos.